Hey YouTube, today we're going to go over uh, pistons and how to put them together and how they work. This here is a four stroke piston, it has about 11 parts I think. And then you can have a two stroke piston, like this one. So start off, these are your two bolts that are going to bolt your uh, connecting rod to the crankshaft. This is your connecting rod and it fits together like that. The bigger hole is generally for the crank and this will go up to the wrist pin. This is the wrist pin which goes inside like this and connecting rod fits onto that so that's what connects the piston to the crankshaft and then you have your piston rings there's two compression rings and then there's your lubrication ring and this one has a spring that fits inside and then in a four stroke when you have a lubricated crankcase then this will uh, keep oil inside the spring and uh, lubricate the cylinder wall as it goes up and down. So to start off by putting this together this one doesn't have any wrist pin bearing because it's just a cheap engine. So in an engine, your piston would start like this, the crankshaft would pull it back, drawing in your fuel and air mixture, push it forward again, compress it, and then there'd be a spark and this would, there'd be an explosion inside the cylinder that would push the piston back, driving the crank, the flywheel would keep it going and push it back and push all the exhaust out and then it would repeat itself. It would pull in the fuel air mixture, compress it, explode, push up the exhaust, intake, compression, power stroke, exhaust. So that's how a four stroke piston works. On a two stroke it's a lot different and you can see they have on the piston on a two stroke has the uh, wings on it. But on a four stroke you don't need that. Anyway, that's a four-stroke pitch piston. So, uh, thanks for watching.